Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about our first potential severe weather outbreak here that we're going to be talking about of the year for the United States. Now, this is going to be on the uh, 23rd, so Saturday, and we're going to go right over this. And you can see it's only an enhanced risk right now, and, that, and that's kind of intense for February uh, for a lot of these areas, especially up north into Kentucky. It's a little bit abnormal as we've been having snow in those areas, uh, you know, the last few months. Uh, but I think the reason I'm saying outbreak is not because it's an enhanced, but because usually these intensify more. So if it goes up to a moderate, I would call it an outbreak for sure. So right now we have the potential for an outbreak. Uh, enhanced, again, pretty strong for this time of year, though. Uh, and also slight um, for a lot of these areas like southern Indiana, Illinois. Uh, pretty pretty interesting stuff. Now we're going to move on to some of the, the dynamics here. We're going to look at our cape, and I've talked about this in one of my previous severe weather uh, videos. And really we're looking for those 1,000 those 1000 readings and, and you can see in the pink when it transitions to purple to pink uh, the pink color is where it's it's 1000 you can see that on the right hand side uh, and then 2000 you definitely have a lot of potential there for severe weather and this is really just the convective available potential energy uh, so this is just the potential for severe thunderstorms we use this as an indicator for that uh, but really any number can have severe weather but the higher the number kind of the greater risk typically now right now we are looking at uh, this is kind of Friday night and we're going to move on one, and this is early, early Saturday morning, maybe your morning commute on Saturday, and you can see a lot of those pinks showing up there for, for Texas and portions of Arkansas and Oklahoma and maybe some isolated spots in Louisiana as well. We're going to move on again uh, six hours later, so this is kind of maybe your afternoon. If you leave work a little bit earlier than normal, maybe this is 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and you see some of the, it, there's not a lot of pinks, but a lot of those purples are in Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, those areas are all kind of taken over with those purples and maybe some pinks there in the middle as well. We're going to move on again, and this is your, your kind of Saturday late evening time, and you can see that's moved on to Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, and maybe some portions of Missouri by this point. Now we're going to look at our simulated radar or our future cast radar here, and we're going to kind of go over the same hours here, or I, I actually don't think that, but this first one is an hour that I used. Uh, so this is Friday night, 0Z. This is the first Cape uh, frame that we looked at. So you can see there's some isolated thunderstorms starting to pop up in Tennessee, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, maybe northern Alabama as well. Uh, and this, is, again, is all Friday night heading into Saturday. But overnight, this is kind of, again, this is maybe... 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. You can see there's a lot of isolated and scattered thunderstorms throughout Texas, Arkansas, and Tennessee by this point. A lot of those reds indicating some stronger cells, by the way. We're going to move on again, and this is kind of your morning commute, and I've moved over to like the eastern portion of the United States because that's where we're headed here. Uh, and you can see they're getting a little bit more organized, especially there for southern Illinois, uh, and maybe western Kentucky, eastern portions of Missouri and, and Arkansas, we, we have some of those more organized cells, and you can see the darker, darker reds, again, indicating the stronger and stronger cells. Now we're going to move on to kind of your evening commute, and you can see there's a line of thunderstorms developing across Louisiana, Texas, and up through Arkansas and Missouri, and this is our, I think, what is our main severe weather threat. This could lead to some, some winds, as this is going to kind of race across the United States. We're going to move on another frame to your zero Z, so this is kind of Saturday night, maybe 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., and you can see that line of thunderstorm has moved all the way to central Missouri, or sorry, central Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and eastern Illinois by this point, and this could lead to a lot of strong winds, and we're going to kind of see it fizzle out after this point, uh, but I think really there's a, a big wind risk here, and we're, but we're going to talk more about this as we move forward. Uh, we, we definitely will, uh, in the next coming days, make an update on this. If it's required, we will uh, definitely have more coverage on this. Again, here's your your risk by the National Weather Service, your categorical risk. Uh, if you're in the yellow, you're in a slight risk. If you're in the orange, you're in an enhanced risk. And that's really where they're in the enhanced, where they're really eyeballing the potential for some pretty severe thunderstorms. Uh, and I, again, I think wind damage is the biggest risk with this one. Maybe an isolated tornado and maybe some hail reports as well in there. Again, we will update you guys. If this upgrades to a medium or something like that, definitely we'll have an, up, we'll have an updated video. If this is your first video uh, of that you're watching of mine and you do usually experience severe weather, I'd highly recommend subscribing as I'm going to be covering severe weather events like this all spring and all summer. Uh, also hurricanes. We have weekly forecasts, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts. So look forward to that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.